My name is Ophir Biran, and you can find me under Orpheus B. So, Ophir, uh, I understand you have uh, lived in that you live in Costa Rica now, and you have a retreat there to help people find their balance in life. Could you share a little bit of what people might experience when they go there? Okay, so. Hi everyone. Uh, I do live in Costa Rica, in a beautiful place in the South Pacific, about uh, three hours uh, from the capital, near a little uh, town called Dominica, uh, and above in the mountains. And I found a piece of paradise where I uh, invite people to experience that as well. I've been in the healing uh, world, practicing modalities from east to west for 20 years. And my uh, vision was to open a healing center to invite people to experience different modalities of healing, to experience different lifestyle, to experience transformation, and to find themselves, to find light. So I found a beautiful place in an ecological uh, farm. And uh, the valley where I live is called the Diamante Valley, Diamond Valley with the tallest waterfall in Costa Rica. And over there we invite uh, once a month people to experience two different types of retreats. One of them is called the Four Elements Retreat, which combine the four energies, earth, fire, water, and air, in a practical essence. So people who come to the retreat, which is usually seven days, can experience spiritual practices that can be practiced day to day. If we look at the earth, for example, that is related to our stomach or spleen, digestive system, food growing, we are teaching about permaculture, about growing food, about healthy eating, about live food, and what food does to our body and how we can benefit mostly for it. And also we take a look at the disorders of the digestive system and many other manifestations that can be solved with food. We have a permaculturist on site and it takes us on a journey through the live forest and we learn about different types of fruits, vegetables, grains and so on. And we also eat live food, raw food and enjoy fresh things that grow in the farm actually. So you see how from the land it comes into your body. And that's very beautiful. Another aspect is the fire aspect, which is more spiritual aspect and the spirit. So we learn about meditation techniques, we go on astral journeys and other elements. We have fire ceremonies, the air element talks about meditations, different types of body practices and energy. And then the water is about learning how to flow in life, like water, without any obstacles. Or if we have obstacles, learning how to bypass them, like this noise. As well as exfoliating our body and flushing our body in pure river water every day. Even on site, in our house, we have a pool that is filled every day with fresh spring water. That's one type of uh, signature retreat that I run. The other one, which I invite you dearly, is called Silent Retreat which teaches the method that Buddha found to reach enlightenment, which is Vipassana. Many centers teach Vipassana these days. However, we took it in a slightly lighter form as an introduction to Vipassana. And it's in silence, yes, eight days. We eat raw food that goes slowly, slowly into coconut fasting. So you experience detoxification through your digestive system and you learn every night there is a lesson that teaches you what is meditation and what is this specific technique. And this specific technique is as if you go into an open mind surgery. To open your mind, to see where are the obstacles that uh, adhere you and block you from progressing on your life journey, on your, on your life path. So when you come and you sit every day, and uh, we do lots of meditation every day, we eat well, we drink water, and we learn to observe internally. We combine Qigong in the morning with that, and the ability to write down the 
thoughts. So the mind is clear and there's space for insights to come, for understandings to come, for forgiveness to happen. Many, many insights. Now, those two retreats happening in specific schedules. However, every day in our house there's conscious activity. Every day we do meditation, we do stretching, we do Tai Chi or Qigong, we eat healthy, we live in nature. And this tree is amazing energy that I feel now. We live in the middle of the jungle, we wake up with the birds in the morning, with the monkeys, and uh, yeah, we go to sleep. You know, when the night comes, everything quiets down and the body is ready to sleep, or either we meditate at night, we have full moon ceremonies, fire ceremonies, very special experience, the most welcome. When it comes to movement, what are the best ways you have found to release stress, toxins, and acidity from the body? So, for me, what I found after over tw maybe 25 years of, of exploring, because in my childhood, I wanted to uh, practice martial art. I wanted something like to, to feel good, to feel strong, to feel that I can defend myself or even play with the other kids in the block. But I didn't like really the fighting forms. So I was not, I tried many, I tried karate and taekwondo and others. And no. And I came to my 20s, I saw one guy practicing in the park one day, very soft movement but had elements of fighting. And I said, okay, what is this? I went and I asked him, and he told me, this is Tai Chi. Go and study. This and this center exist over there. So I went. I saw this thing, and I was amazed. Because I saw young people from age of 16 to 80-year-old adults practicing exactly the same thing. In the same softness, the same grace, same rhythm. And I really wanted to explore that because I felt the beyond the physics of this art. So I dove into that, dived into that, and started with Tai Chi Chuan. And practiced that for the last 20 years, meeting many, many masters and teachers and taking the best methods that I found. Then I went into and found Qigong as well, which is more uh, intensive in the energy build-up. And both of them together, including stretching, we cannot forget stretching of the body before to enable blood and energy to flow, form for me the best exercise method to develop energy in, to release toxicity from the body, detoxify the body, release stagnant emotions, stagnant mental confusion, and be very, very clear. When I finish a practice of Tai Chi or Qigong, everything is more vivid. I feel calm, I feel centered, the, the colors are amazing, and I feel in bliss. So for me, and I recommend it to everybody, I teach it, I preach it, Tai Chi and Qigong will be your internal exercises to cleanse and build them. I understand you have an amazing mentor. You talked about mentors that you've met many over your life. So could you tell us a little bit about this amazing man and some of what he has taught you and how you can help others find find him? Yes. Um, yes, so my dear master, I love you. Master Duan, Duan Jilian, his name. As I expressed before, I'm after uh, authentic uh, practices and also teachers. So I went and trained with uh, many teachers in different countries, if it's South Korea, Japan, China, Israel, and Australia. And uh, Master Duan, I saw first in a little video that shows, showed me three different masters of Qigong. And I saw him, and I saw his style, style of movement, and understood that he carry not only mastery in martial arts of Qigong and Tai Chi, he's also a Chinese doctor, and looking at him and understanding his age, back then it was 96. I said, I have to meet this man. So I finished and I graduated my uh, Chinese medicine studies in Australia. And luckily, the end of the course was an uh, internship in a Chinese medical hospital in Beijing. And I knew that he lived somewhere in Beijing, I just didn't know where. And I went and uh, during my uh, internship, I was asking, all the doctors, everybody that I saw that practiced Tai Chi or Qigong about him, nobody knew. And I said, I have to find him. Obviously, he exists somewhere. And 
my curiosity led me to meet a Chinese a young man in the train uh, station in the subway in Beijing that wanted to study English and I said really great I want to study Chinese but also I have a little task for you I want you to find me this and this man and I said okay I'll try I'll do my best so we became friends and about a week later he came to me and said I found him for you it was only in Chinese language non advertised anywhere in English and he had a little uh, like a yellow pages uh, number of his clinic so it, he hooked us up I took a Taiwanese friend that spoke Chinese back then I didn't speak uh, Mandarin and uh, we called Mustard One and he invited us to come to his clinic the first day we thought it would take two hours it took us four hours to find him and to come to his clinic and he was patiently waiting for us and as we came we told him that we just graduated Chinese medicine course and we're practicing here. He went to his room, he came back, he brought me a white coat of a doctor. He said, put the coat on. He put his coat on and he told me, come, I want to show you how do I put acupuncture needle to a patient that was lying on a bed. Immediately opened his heart, opened his clinic and invited me to practice even. After he put the needle, he gave me the needle and said, now you do it. And for me, it was shocking to come to a master and just to feel at home almost. And I said, yeah, I want to study with this guy. I want to stay. And then what happened was the classic story of a student teacher in China, where you ask again and again and again, until the master say, okay, now you can come. I see that you're serious too. So I took my bags, I finished my internship back in the hospital and came and sat with Mustard One and lived with him in his room for one year constantly in uh, South Beijing somewhere. Learn Chinese, learn calligraphy, learn uh, Wu Ji Qigong, which is his authentic style, family style from fourth century. Uh, and you can find him on YouTube. Maybe we can uh, send a little link to his how, how old is he now? Now he's 110 years old. I've seen him uh, four months ago. And once a year, once every two years, I uh, go to see him and take a little group uh, to meet this great man. We learn a little bit of Qigong with him, we learn wisdom of life with him, we see him in his daily routine, in his daily life. Um, as well as going into local streets, local alleys, visiting the Chinese medical hospital, doing Tai Chi and Qigong in the parks. Very special. I live among local people. I go to a country, I don't like to separate myself to be part of the people to know and learn the culture so familiar with the Beijing the journeys are very special awesome thank you for this interview yes thank you yeah, join us join the community that is growing up to increase consciousness and bring happiness joy and health and balance to this world and you can find us on the links that will serve on the, on the internet on Facebook thank you Jabez. thank you I love the sunlight.